Hi, good morning. I hope you're really well and you've had a lovely week. All good here. Uh, happy Sunday. So this time next week, it's Mother's Day, Mothering Sunday. And I thought I would show you, hopefully give you a bit of inspiration in case you wanted to make a bouquet or a jug of something. This is one of our, this is our small splatter baby. Um, but I have got two shoots next week. Um, and so I've bought all these beautiful flowers, which I've had for kind of five days because I, I need them all to be open in perfect condition for when we're shooting them. Um, and they would just make the most, if someone gave me a bunch of these, I would be the happiest person on earth. So I thought I would share what they are um, in case you are feeling inspired and you want to go out and pick something for you, for someone, Mother's Day present, anything. So um, I have my jug. I have a mix of I think this could be, this could rival for me Solomon Seal. This is um, Spirea, she's a shrub and she's called Spirea Snow Mountain. Um, I might have talked about her before. She, I think she, yeah, she is quite early on in her life, but I have, I have got a different Spirea in my garden, which she's not looking kind of anywhere near as ready as this. This has been grown under a greenhouse somewhere. Um, but it just, I love that kind of frothiness. And when the buds aren't quite open, they just these tiny little speckles. Um, they're very joy giving. So anyway, so I'm building my shape with this, all different heights. Some of the kind of side shoots are quite low. So I'll bring them kind of down the bottom by the neck. So they kind of spill over. And so I'm adding my foliage first. There's no right or wrong way about doing this. I have lots of other flowery friends who would do flowers first and fill in with the foliage. So it's a complete, up to you whatever you like and then I'm really craving colour so um, it's been we've had full snow and grey bleakness so needing colour so I've gone for these beautiful orange parrot tulips which are I think they're called well I know they're called Irene but I think they might be a princess I think they might be princess Irene but they are one of my favourite kind of when I need that orange lift they're the ones I go to um, and then I've got some of these beautiful cappuccino-y um, Piketty ranunculus. So that orange and the purple is always one of my go-to favourite combinations. So I'm kind of judging them as I go. Um, more of the pink and all at different heights. And then look at this person. I've never met this before. This is a ranuncular, but she looks like she's being kind of splattered in paint. Um, so that's a better example. Look at those, look at those leaves. I mean, she's so beautiful. Um, so she's going into, I haven't got very many of them because she's, she's quite fancy. And then I've got this person. This is a hyacinth, which are out now, very um, in season. And I'm noticing all the supermarkets are, are filled with them. I haven't seen this color many times. She's called Sky Jacket. Um, and I just love, I thought I might've, gone off this lilac obsession I have but it's not going anywhere I'm still mad about it and so yes yeah, sc lilac sky jacket and if I'm not sure how readily available this spirea is going to be but if you are going to kind of supermarkets and florists to get shops to get flowers um in season now we've got lots of tulips lots of narcissi um lots of hyacinths and those three together would be a really lovely um, collection. I was in Aldi or Lidl last week and they had these huge bunches of tulips for, for two pounds. So have a go at kind of just an idea of mixing those three types and you put them in a lovely jug like this or you can always make them into a jug first if you're struggling to do a proper hand tie and then just scoop them out like that because you've built that lovely structure and then tie them with a ribbon cut straight across the bottom and that's a kind of easy easy way to do a lovely hand tied bouquet so that is that that is my hopefully inspiring mother's day jug jug inspiration um i hope you have a really happy rest of your weekend and i'll see you soon bye